Welcome back to the Delaware Way. I'm Larry Menti. We continue our conversation with the mayor of Dover, who was just reelected, Robin R. Christensen. And we're joined now by Major Bill Farley, who is the vice chair of the Delaware Commission on Veterans Affairs. And the topic that we're talking about is a new move in Delaware and in Dover and in cities across Delaware to end homelessness among veterans. Sir, if we can start, talk a little bit about your career. Oh, I... Uh enlisted in the Marine Corps in 1964 and I retired in 1992 as a major. Uh, I'm a Vietnam veteran and uh, during those 28 years I served in the Philippines and Japan and Norway and other places in the world. And, and many people did not have the career that you had and they decided to leave and they went to Vietnam and came back or they went uh, to the Gulf and came back and for one reason or another, fell upon hard times. Um, what, what are the specific reasons that veterans come back and are not able to find work or are disconnected from their families or are not able to find medical services? Well, uh, it's a good question because what happens first of all, when our sons and daughters enlist in the service, they take an oath and they begin to be trained to be part of a team. That team becomes a family. If they serve in combat, that family forms bonds that nobody else can understand except other members of the family. Now, oftentimes, when they come home and they get discharged, those bonds are severed suddenly, and they find themselves on an unfamiliar uh, landscape. If they don't have a solid family uh, support system, oftentimes they fall on hard times. Now, in addition, uh, we have the problem of now of uh, PTSD and other problems that are associated oftentimes with train, uh, service in combat. And you have problems also with the VA hospitals, as well, the mayor had mentioned a moment ago. Is that yeah. a part of this problem? I think it may be co-joined. I'm not well, really sure. I can't answer. Yeah. I, I'll let Major Farley Well, you answer. mentioned it. That's why I asked right. if, and, if and, you and, were uh, blaming that's the VA my perception. system yeah. for some of my it. Perception Is that fair? That. Well, I have to say that uh, uh, the investigation that was done of the VA included the hospital here. And there were some problems found, but there's a new administration there, and they are going a long way to try to fix the problems. Now, as it happens in regard to homelessness, uh, the VA Medical Center is responsible for the VA's homeless uh, veterans outreach programs. And there are many programs. The problem is that when those veterans come home and they're no longer part of that team that they used to be a part of, they get disconnected, and even though they might know that there's services out there for them, they don't know how to access them, and they don't know who to turn to. You know, when they're on the, in the service, they always know who to turn to to get problems solved, and they know how to help each other. But when they're on their own in civilian life, if they don't transition properly, if they have uh, any kind of uh, additional problems, they have trouble finding these So it's a great programs. point, and let, so let's connect those two, the, those two thoughts. And so... In the, in the mayor's initiative and the governor's initiative, that's where government takes part. So they, they can do the outreach. Is that what you see as your responsibility in this? Yes. And hooking, hooking the, uh, the people in need up with, uh, with the services that they need, yeah. homes, permanent housing. Right. Uh, what this initiative uh, is uh, a prime example of Delaware joining forces to solve a problem. Now, what, what it means is this. Uh, back in October when the mayor asked me to get involved in this, we started looking into the problem. And uh, in January, we brought together at a summit at uh, Delaware Tech and Terry Campus in Dover uh, about 100 people from all over the state, federal, state, and local government agencies, as well as local charities and private businesses and individuals who were interested in the situation and in helping veterans. From that, we developed uh, uh, some research into uh, successful strategies uh, that are being employed in other places in the country. And we created uh, in March a, uh, a boot camp for volunteers. And from that boot camp has come a team which we now call the Delaware Veterans Welcome Home Team. We meet every week and what we do is we identify homeless veterans, we identify their needs, and we work in the same room. We have the VA, we have HUD, we have Delaware State Housing Authority, Dover Housing Authority, uh, the different uh, shelters and charities, and even the Department of Corrections and some others. And then the, and, and then the edict from there is to go out and get them? 
that's right. What happens is they bring the names of the veterans and their problems, and we sit and we figure out how to solve the problem, get the veteran connected with a place to live, first of all, okay? And then get them set up with the, the uh, programs that are available to uh, help him solve his uh, alcohol or drug addiction or his PTSD, whatever it is. The system, the thing is that the programs exist. It's a matter of bringing everybody together and breaking down bureaucratic barriers. We have to wrap up. Oh, Major, I really you. appreciate thank you coming sure. in and thank you for your service. Thank Mayor, congratulations. Thank you. And please come back and especially as you start to find homes and as this starts to take effect, come back and we'd love to talk to you about it again. Good. I'd love to do that. Okay, great. Dover Mayor, the, the just re-elected Mayor of Dover, Robin R. Christensen, and Major Bill Farley, who is the Vice Chair of the Delaware Commission on Veterans Affairs. When we come back on the Delaware Way, the idea of setting up right-to-work zones in Delaware to create more jobs. We'll talk about that when the Delaware Way continues.